contributions of the African American community here in North Texas. I'm Nicole Baker. If you'd like to revisit any of these stories or even take a look at some of our past Black History Month coverage, please head to CBSTexas.com and click on Black History is Our History. You'll find that on our homepage. Welcome to the 40th Annual Black Music and the Civil Rights Movement Concert. Presented by the Black Academy of Arts and Letters. Starring Leandria Johnson and Avery Wilson. And featuring Jackie Owens and Christy Tillman. Under the direction of Curtis King and conductor Clark Joseph. Now, here are your hosts, Robbie Owens and Steve Pickett. Good evening, and welcome to the Black Academy of Arts and Letters and the 40th anniversary of Black Music and the Civil Rights Movement concert. It is right here in beautiful downtown Dallas at the Meyerson Symphony Center. I'm Steve Pickett. And I'm Robbie Owens. Each year, the Black Academy of Arts and Letters presents this concert to celebrate the life and teachings of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. The performance is directed by none other than Mr. Curtis King, the founder of the Black Academy of Arts and Letters, better known as T-Ball. And tonight's performance promises to be magnificent. You'll hear from Grammy Award-winning vocalist Leandria Johnson, as well as recording artist Avery Wilson. Plus, the amazing voices of the Black Academy of Arts and Letters Mass Choir. Steve is going to go inside and get things started, and I'll bring you some special interviews from backstage. So sit back and relax and enjoy this annual magnificent performance. Something is about to happen today in American history. In Washington, D.C., the 40th president of the United States, Ronald Reagan, is about to sign into law, declaring the third Monday in January as a national holiday. Mrs. Coretta Scott King, joined by members of the King family, uh, will sit with Congress leaders and civil rights leaders to sign the congressional bill on this day, November 2nd, 1983. Let's take a look. When I was thinking of the contributions to this country, of the man we're honoring today, a passage from the American poet John Greenleaf Whittier comes to mind. Each crisis brings its word and deed. In America, in the 50s and 60s, one of the important crises we faced was racial discrimination. The man whose words and deeds stirred our nation to the very depths of its soul was Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. America is a more democratic nation, a more just nation, and a more peaceful nation because Martin Luther King Jr. became her preeminent nonviolent commander. Martin Luther King Jr. and his spirit lives within us all. Thank God for the blessing of his life, his leadership, and his commitment. What manner of man was this? May we make ourselves worthy to carry on his dream and create the love and community like Dr. King. I'm now signing this bill into law declaring the third Monday in January each year, which is near the time of Dr. King's birthday, January 15th, an American national holiday. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This year's concert, folks, is significant because it is the 40th anniversary of this presentation. It is significant because President Ronald Reagan was the 40th president of these United States. He was the man who signed the Martin Luther King Jr. bill into law as a national holiday in this nation in 1983, even though it actually was not celebrated as a federal holiday until 1986 and not officially recognized by all 50 states until the year 2000. It is significant because this institution joined in the national holiday celebration of a man who did more to advocate for racial equity in America than perhaps anyone in modern history, 
Dr. King's words and actions were transformative, leading to what is defined as civil rights laws that ban discrimination based on race, color, national origin, religion, sex, civil rights legislation that changed the very course of our country. When thinking about the civil rights movement and the many hurdles Dr. King and the protesters had to overcome, let's think about some of that music, those songs, those songwriters who may have said it best. It's time to rise up and walk, because ain't gonna let nobody turn me around.
The 40th Annual Black Music and the Civil Rights Movement Concert is sponsored by CBS Texas and TXA 21. The Black Academy of Arts and Letters. McDonald's. The Dallas Symphony Orchestra. The Dallas Mavericks. Lexus. The Dallas Office of Arts and Culture. The Dallas Tourism and Public Improvement District. And Tito's Handmade Vodka. The North Texas and Oklahoma chapter of the National Black McDonald's Operators Association is proud to continue our support of Tito. Congratulations on the 40th anniversary of the Black Music and Civil Rights Movement concert. For many patients with blood disorders, the only chance at survival comes from a stranger. Joining me today is COO of the Potter's House, Frank Dyer, to explain just how easy it is to save a life. Can you tell me about the partnership between United Mega Care, the Potter's House, and DKMS? You know, the partnership is absolutely amazing. We're partnering with DKMS uh, to really eradicate and educate black and brown communities on giving them blood. 70% of the, the black and brown community that have blood-related cancers have no matches. Uh, I'm going through that process myself, and I'd love to be able to find that genetic twin is actually 75, 80, 90 percent um, DNA, uh, DNA match for me. This is actually a curable disease, and I think that's the biggest piece for me, right? Somehow, we've got to get the word out around the stigmas associated with, with doing just what we're doing now. So you have a very important event coming up February 26th from noon to 5 at the Potter's House in Dallas. What can people expect? It is going to be our first of many uh, donor opportunities for people to come out uh, and swap uh, for a potential match. You know, I would call upon all fraternities, sororities. If you need a, a, an event to do, this would be the event to do it because you're going to help people uh, just like yourself. If somebody can't attend the event, how else can they get involved? So there will be a virtual component as well. They'll send you a kit, and from that kit, they will actually process it just like you were there. So I know all of this is very close to your heart, but would you mind sharing your story with our viewers? Uh, not at all. My mother passed away 17 years ago, and one of the things she was adamant about uh, was me getting a full physical each and every year. And on the way out uh, from my doctor's visit, they're like, well, Frank, that's a problem. And they said, we're going to refer you to a hematologist. We're going to be a hematologist. It went forward, and now a model dysplastic syndrome, or MDS as it's called. To be obedient to my mother and continue to do checkups uh, is everything. If I hadn't have gone to the doctor, this could end up being full-blown leukemia by the end of the year. Uh -huh. I'm very blessed that I was able to catch it early. The other Franks that are out there and, and the non-Franks have the opportunity to, to get a second chance at life. Get swabbed at the Potter's House in Dallas on Sunday, February 26th from 12 to 5 p.m. or register virtually at dkms.org slash fight for Frank. I know you get home from work, you got to feed the dog, make dinner, and you're like, I'm going to bed at 10 o'clock. But let me encourage you to stay up with us. You get the good news. We're going to save you a copay today. Get your weather. That's when we have the widespread rain on the way. What you need to know. New at 10 o'clock, our Aaron Jones is getting you answers. I say it every night when the show ends. I say, thank you for staying up with us. And I mean it because I know that there's so many other things you can be doing with your time. We want to bring you into our family, too. Thank you for watching CBS News Texas. Welcome back to the 40th Annual Black Music and the Civil Rights Movement Concert. I'm Robbie Owens coming to you backstage and joining me right now, T-Ball founder Curtis King. You were the creator of this concert. How does it feel to see it come to stage for its 40th year? Ooh, 40 years. I cannot believe 40 years later. It's a great feeling, uh, the energy and the spirit. Uh, the fire and the fervor for all these incredible, incredible singers. So I'm excited. The reason why I chose to do this coming from the South in Mississippi, when you would hear people sing these freedom songs, ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. So when they were singing the songs, the closer they got to the rallies, the, the sound was bigger. And then when they finished the rally, the people, the train would move on, and then the sound became faint. So that's what we want to do is replicate the sound of what those people were doing during the civil rights period and also incorporate some of the contemporary stuff. But it's also all about celebrating the legacy yes. of Dr. King and doing it with excellence. Yes. How important is that to continue his message through this music? Well, I think it's very important because if you read a lot of his uh, quotes, he talked a lot about music, jazz, blues, gospel, the spirituals. Who did he invite to the March on Washington? Mahalia Jackson, I got over, right? <laughs> so the message in music was also a part of his mission. Curtis King, founder and producer of the Black Academy of Arts and Letters, 40th anniversary, Black Music and the Civil Rights Movement concert. More amazing performances coming up.
Let a change is gonna, it's gonna come. Yeah. Oh, yes, it
40th annual Black Music and the Civil Rights Movement concert will return after these messages. It would appear that the butler did it. But this isn't a whodunit film. It's a Nissan sales event. Now that's a killer deal. Good thing this Rogue has a VC turbo engine, unlike RAV4. Get 0% financing for 36 months on select models. Catch these offers while you can. It's here. The power and speed of Frontier Fiber 5 gig internet. That means better saving the planet every chance you get. Better creating entirely new virtual worlds. And better sharing moves that move millions. Fast internet just got faster. With the first and only network-wide Fiber 5 gig service, better keeps getting better.
so happy all of you are here. Part of this celebration is to make sure that every seat filled here also understands the reason why we are here. It is without question that African American spirituals, gospel and folk music, all of it playing an incredible role in the civil rights movement. Those vocalists, those musicians, they sang these songs for multiple purposes to motivate them through long marches and protests and for emotional strength against harassment and brutality and sometimes to simply pass the time when waiting for something to happen. Civil rights leaders also realize the music as a powerful tool. Songs that have been and continue to be an important part of the civil rights music tradition.
sit like a bridge over try Black Music and the Civil Rights Movement Concert continues. The all-powerful Kia SUVs assembled in Georgia. Get 3.25% APR for up to 48 months on a new 2023 Sorento during the President's Day sales event. Hey, did you know that updating your windows and doors can lower your taxes? That's right. Installing energy-efficient windows and doors from Window World could get you a tax credit up to $1,100. Hi, Ray speaking. Did you just say $1,100? That's right. Just for installing windows and doors from Window World? That's right. And we offer multiple financing options to make your payments less taxing. All right. To learn more about your tax credit or for a free estimate, call 800-GET-WINDOWS. The all-powerful Kia SUVs assembled in Georgia. Lease a new 2023 Sportage LX for $279 a month during the President's Day sales event. CBS Texas is proud to celebrate Black History Month.
I wanted to take a moment and honor some of the great leaders of our country. There's a specific song that comes to mind, and it says this. Anybody here seen my old friend Abraham?
For many patients with blood disorders, the only chance at survival comes from a stranger. Joining me today is COO of the Potter's House, Frank Dyer, to explain just how easy it is to save a life. Can you tell me about the partnership between United Mega Care, the Potter's House, and DKMS? You know, the partnership is absolutely amazing. We're partnering with DKMS uh, to really eradicate and educate black and brown communities on giving them blood. 70% of the, the black and brown community that have blood-related cancers have no matches. Uh, I'm going through that process myself, and I'd love to be able to find that genetic twin it's actually 75, 80, 90 percent uh, DNA, uh, DNA match for me. This is actually a curable disease, and I think that's the biggest piece for me, right? Somehow, we've got to get the word out around the stigmas associated with, with doing just what we're doing now. So you have a very important event coming up February 26th from noon to 5 at the Potter's House in Dallas. What can people expect? It is going to be our first of many uh, donor opportunities for people to come out uh, and swap uh, for a potential match. You know, I would call upon all fraternities, sororities. If you need a, a, an event to do, this would be the event to do it because you're going to help people uh, just like yourself. 
If somebody can't attend the event, how else can they get involved? So there will be a virtual component as well. They'll send you a kit, and from that kit, they will actually process it just like you were there. So I know all of this is very close to your heart, but would you mind sharing your story with our viewers? Uh, not at all. My mother passed away 17 years ago, and one of the things she was adamant about uh, was me getting a full physical each and every year. And on the way out uh, from my doctor's visit, they're like, well, Frank, that's a problem. And they said, we're going to refer you to a hematologist. We're going to be a hematologist. It went forward, and now amyloidysplastic syndrome, or MDS as it's called. To be obedient to my mother and continue to do checkups uh, is everything. If I hadn't have gone to the doctor, this could end up being full-blown leukemia by the end of the year. Uh -huh. I'm very blessed that I was able to catch it early. The other Franks that are out there, and, and the non-Franks, have the opportunity to, to get a second chance at life. Get swabbed at the Potter's House in Dallas on Sunday, February 26th from 12 to 5 p.m. or register virtually at dkms.org slash fight for Frank. The death of George Floyd, who died in police custody Monday night. Turning my pain into purpose is pretty much what I have done to start this foundation it's going to take more than just us you know as a foundation it's going to take the community the world to help us make a change because it, it just can't be us
like that. Hold on, no, don't give me no beat. Don't give me no beat. Hold on. I know we ain't in church, but we got some church goers in here. And you know when everything calmed down, you know, a mother will say something like this. Let the church say it. with the words of Dr. King. He said, one of the great liabilities of history is that all too many people fail to remain awake through the great periods of social change. Today, our very survival depends on our ability to stay awake, to adjust to new ideas to remain vigilant and to face the challenge of change. Be mindful of Dr. King's dream for the nation and how it is seen today. Yes, change has come to America. <laughs> so let's take an oath that the time to do right is always ripe and hence, there is no need to wait for it anymore because, quote, the most amazing thing about doing what is right and growing big in life is to be able to help those in need. Folks, look at the person next to you, beside you. Be better for you, for your children, for your community. Live the dream. That is the legacy of Dr. King. Ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so very much for joining us on this evening. Love one another. Have a good night and a very thoughtful day on, not a day off. Everybody got joy, unspeakable joy. The following programming time has been purchased. The views and opinions do not necessarily reflect those of these stations. The following program is brought to you by Clear Choice Dental Implant Centers. Smile freely. We understand. We understand the feelings of embarrassment, of failing teeth, and tooth loss. We understand the pain of not being able to chew or feeling confident smiling. We understand the challenges.